Chance platforms are used to provide an elevated work surface. Do not use this equipment if you are not properly trained and supervised in the use of this particular equipment and the procedures being done. Do not use any part of the platform for lifting, rigging, or any function other than its intended use. For every use, all components of the platform board, its attachments, and its accessories shall be thoroughly inspected by qualified personnel for any indications or signs of damage or mechanical stress, including but not limited to components that are bent, worn, cracked, gouged, scratched, feathered, elongated, deformed, corroded, rusted, blistered, loose, missing, abraded, burned, showing signs of tracking, or any other damage. All parts should be free of contamination and insulated poles shall be cleaned and wiped with silicone or equivalent before each use. Verify proper operation of moving components to ensure there is no binding, kinking, looseness, indicative of worn threads, or any other indication of a defect. Confirm that all components fit together, such as the platform to the mount, including the T-pins, and the railing or tripod fit to the platform. Electrical testing of insulated components should be performed per industry and local standards. If the platform board, mount, rail, or tripod has been dropped from an elevated work site, or if there is suspicion that any component is damaged, it should be removed from service. Do not alter or substitute parts of the platform or mounts. Before installing the platform or pivot attachment, use appropriately rated cover-up equipment on all energized components. All components that could become energized and all grounded components such as neutral wires and guy wires in the vicinity that might be touched when installing or using the platform or pivot attachment. Also consider safe working distances, best work position, type of structure, desired working height, task to perform, appropriate mount and necessary installation clearance. If using a 42 inch, four foot, six foot, or eight foot platform and working for multiple positions, a chance pivot attachment may be used. Please note that 10 foot and 12 foot platforms are only used with the included fixed mount. After determining the location and orientation of the platform and desired mount to be used, follow the instructions included with the chain binder to install the appropriate platform mount. If longer chains are needed, use only chance extension chains. On the chain binder, rotate the hand wheel counterclockwise until it just touches the nut on the end of the threads. Push the hand wheel clevis bolt through the housing until the latch locks in the notch on the clevis bolt. Place the equipment on the pole in the desired position. Pass the chain around the pole, pull tight, and hook chain into the socket. Make sure the chain seats securely. Install the eye pin located at the end of the chain in the eye pin hole of the chain socket to retain the chain. Press the latch, which releases the clevis bolt and snugs the chain. Keep fingers clear of pinch points. Rotate the hand wheel clockwise, tighten, to take up the slack and tighten the chain securely. If the hand wheel bottoms out before the chain is tight, loosen the hand wheel and pull the chain tighter. Hook the chain and tighten the hand wheel. Shake the equipment vigorously to seat it on the pole and tighten the hand wheel. Note, platforms can also be mounted on a tower using the tower mount. If using a tripod or railing, install on the platform board, if not already installed, and raise into the up position prior to lifting into working position. Fixed mount. Attach platform board to mount using the long T-pin. Ensure click pin is replaced to a secure T-pin in place. Raise board and position the brace firmly against the structure. Hook the chain strap assembly to the brace fork. The chain strap assembly must always be properly engaged with the brace to keep the brace in position. Failure to do this will cause the platform to fall and could result in serious injury or death. Reseat bracing against the structure. Adjust as needed to level the board. For 10 foot or 12 foot platform, if mounting on a wood pole, tighten the lag screws into the pole for additional stability. Pivot mount. Attach platform board to mount using the upper long T-pin. Ensure click pin is replaced to secure T-pin in place. Raise board, hook chain strap assembly to brace fork and attach brace to mount using the lower T-pin. Ensure click pin is replaced to secure T-pin in place. If mounting on a wood pole, tighten the lag screws into the pole for additional stability. If using the pivot attachment, align the center of rotation halfway between the working positions. Do not use a pivot type attachment on round steel or concrete poles. The chain binders may not grip these surfaces as well as a wood pole. This may cause the platform to move without warning, particularly when the platform is pivoted to the side, causing the worker to fall. 
could cause severe injury or death. Vigorously shake the board and retighten the chain binder so the board is fully seated and tightly secured to the structure before transitioning to the board. If using the pivot mount, be certain that the pivot attachment is locked into position by tightening the hand wheel before transitioning to the board. Periodically check tightness of chain binders and retighten as necessary, especially before an operator transitions onto the board. If using an insulated platform, do not use the epoxy glass pole sections as steps as this could cause surface contamination which may reduce the insulation characteristics. Always use proper fall restraint, arrest equipment, and practices per applicable national, local, and or company regulations and work practices. Platform rail and tripod are only to be used for balancing and centering on the platform. Platform board, mounting attachment, rail, and tripod are not rated for and should not be used as an anchorage point for fall restraint or arrest. Confirm adequate clearance, ensure stability, and use caution when transitioning to the board. Do not overextend your reach. Reposition the board if necessary. Do not reposition the board with a worker or materials on the board. If using a pivot mount, do not pivot the platform with a worker or materials on the board. The worker can lose balance and fall when the board moves, causing severe injury or death. Move the worker from the board to the structure before pivoting the platform. To pivot, loosen hand wheel, reposition board, and retighten hand wheel. Confirm that the board is securely locked into position before transitioning to the board. For more questions, please contact customer service or your territory manager.